Hello everyone, welcome back to the final episode of Genealogy of the Holy War, one movement run. But let's go ahead and end it off now. And again, thank you all so much for participating with me in this. I, I can't put it into words on like how grateful I am and just <laughs> how huge this state it was. But I really do mean every word when I say thank you so much. Anyways, one small step for one movement kind, one giant leap <laughs> for fire emblem. Let's seize, and then the first ever one movement run. Congratulations, Seleph. You endured so much, so well to make it this far. You have no idea, Luin. Thank you, Luin. Our victory means precious little while our world still lies in ruins. Where do we begin from here? There's only one way to rebuild all the sacred lands. Everyone needs to come together and share the work among you. And for that, you'll need a good leader. Crusaders' heirs will be returning home to assume their rightful thrones. And with the pro proper leadership, they can pull their strengths again to build a new world. One where all can live in happiness. A new world, you say? Yes, Elif. A new world. And your role is the most crucial of all. You'll remain here in Belhalla, and you'll guide the rise of this new world as the king of Granville. Hold on, I'm to be the king? Mm-hmm. After all that's happened, you and Julia are the last living heirs of the blood of Granville's kings. Two of you have inherited the last will of all who lost their lives on this path. These souls watch over you even now. You mustn't forget the light for which they strove. Mm. I understand, Lewin. So as long as I have the power, I'll do all I can. Now, Julia. What do you say? I agree. Of course, I wish to aid Lord Seleph. No, my lord brother, every step of the way. I know this path will be a grueling one, but that's all the more reason to give it my all. Lady Tinny, you'll do all you can to aid my brother as well, won't you? Yes, and gladly so. Better, Lady Julia, what about... I, I must atone for the fate of Lord Sigurd. I know that's what my mother, Lady Deirdre, would wish of me. Well then, looks like everyone's making their way here from the front lines. Seleph, this will be your first task as king. I'm sure that I'll love some words of thanks. Well, that's it. I'm going home, Seleph. I left the Zykan people to wait long enough. I doubt I could ever thank you enough for all you've done for me, Shannon. All my life, you've been here to protect me. At every turn, I owe you so dearly. Your father, Lord Sigurd, was always there for me as well, from when I was a kid. As was Lady Deirdre. But when we lost Lady Deirdre, I couldn't do a thing to stop it. I failed, Lord Sigurd. Even now, I'll never forget that day. You don't owe me a thing, Seleph. Not when I've caused you so much pain. No, Shannon. If it weren't for you, the people of Isaac, I wouldn't be here today. To me, Isaac will always be home. Nothing will ever change that. I'm sure everyone back in Isaac would be heartened to hear you say such kind words. I've always thought of you as a brother, Shannon. I pray we never forget that bond. My blade will always be yours, King Seleph. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. Okay, Lord Seleph, I'm headed home with King Shannon. I've got a country to help them rebuild. That's all I really want. Uh, of course. Rod, I know he'll deep in on your support. Uh, depend on your support. <laughs> I pray your combined might will bring peace to all the people of Isaac. Yes, sir. My life is theirs. I've never seen you this happy, Rod. Must be nice to finally be going home. It's only natural, Patty. I spent most of my life there, after all. So, er... Yeah? Say, Rod, is it okay if I come with you? What, you want to come? To Isaac? With me? I do. Wow. Thanks, Patty. Well, it's time to say goodbye. 
best of luck here is of Isaac. Man, they were all so useful. Especially Patty and Shannon. I couldn't possibly thank you enough for everything Lord Self. All the PR for Leon's here shortly. I feel so bad for Leon. The Thracia Peninsula has suffered from war long enough, and it's high time we rebuild. At the very least, I owe my late sister Altaina that much. Indeed. This war is laying waste to Thracia, and I can only imagine the burden laid upon you, the king to be of the United Peninsula. I pray you give it your best, no matter what happens. I will. Take care as well, Lord Zelif. Long ago, our fathers Sigurd and Quan were bound by the closest of friendships, sharing their deaths as they did their lives. Prince Leif, I'd love nothing more than for us to follow their example and remain lifelong friends. As do I, Lord Zelif. Your job certainly won't be easy. You need to unite two peoples divided by hatred to build a new peaceful land. I'm so sorry, Leaf. Everyone you had died. Everyone you cared about is just gone. Selif, I dearly owe you for all you've done to assist me. I'll never forget so as long as I live. Oh no, Prince Aris. The droid chancing upon you is brought... is... uh... <laughs> I can't read. It's such an honor to meet the son of my father's dearest friend. Rip Kwan. As tragic as their lives were, their faith in each other was unshakable to the very end. Our fathers, Prince Ares, were united by a singular dream, their deaths left unfulfilled. Let's fulfill that dream where they cannot. Let the two of us, hand in hand, guide all of Jugdral towards bringing the dream to life. Well spoken, King Zelof. My father so dearly wished to see his beloved Augustia unite in a lasting peace. In the name of his dying wish, I'll carve for Augustria a new prosperous future. My apologies, Tristan, but I'd like for you to go to Augustria. Augustria is still in the midst of an agonizing war, and Prince Ares will need your aid to save it. No, sir, I'm so glad you asked. Augustria is my home, and it's an honor to be allowed to re return there by my king. And of course, Lana, you may go with Tristan. I'd hate to part the two of you, even briefly. Hmm? You already know about us, Lord Zelif? is isn't exactly hard to see, Lana. I wish you two naught but happiness. Thank you so much, Lord Zelif. Even as we speak, Agashi is still embroiled in a civil war. A grueling task awaits you all, but I know you can handle it if you give it your best. Together. The Garcia's fate now lies squarely in all of your hands. Well, Lord Silif, I'm off to Jungby. Hmm. Knowing Jungby is in your most capable hands will put my mind at ease. I admit, sir, I couldn't have seen all this coming in a thousand years. But finding out that my mom was Jungby's Lady Bridget helped me find myself a purpose in life. I know now that needs to be done. Oh, this blessed bow of mine, Lord Self. I swear I'll be with every step of the way. Bro, you never got you felt. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, well, he was honestly pretty good. Foul was. So was Ari's. Uh, he wasn't as useful as I could have made him, though. Headed for Free Jar, you, Arthur? Yes, sir. Refter and Bloom's crimes are beyond forgiveness, but free citizens cannot be blamed for their liege's actions. I've got a duty to fill my mother's shoes and guide the people where she was no longer can. If anyone can do Arthur, it'll be you. I'm glad to see peace is never born of hatred. I pray we'll always be friends. Yes, sir! Come on, Arthur! Let's go already! I've never been this bored in my life. Heh. <laughs> Thought you'd say that, Fee. Okay, let's get going. Bye bye, Lord Zelif. We'll see you later. Man, those two were so good, especially Fee. She's easily probably one of my best units, if not the best. So long, Zelif. 
I leave those cares to you, Lord Galhaldir. Facing my people ain't gonna be easy, but one way or another, I gotta atone for my dad's crime somehow. Guess I won't know till I try. I really owe you one, Silif. You truly are an odd one, Galhaldir. Your rough words hide such a gentle spirit. Heh, <laughs> I guess. Talking like that never felt right, yeah? Good luck with everything, Selif. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Lord Selif. Yohavir has always felt awkward about what really lies beneath his act. <laughs> I thought as much. Do you take care of Radney. And do you take care of Yohavir. Yes, sir. I suppose I really can't afford to leave him be, can I? Rest assured, I'll look after him. Take care as well, Lord Selif. I really didn't use those two at all. Oh, well, they did help out a bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I take your head for Ida, Lester? I am, sir. In the name of my father, Claude, I breathe new life back in Ida. St. Broggy's faith is strong indeed. I know your exalted prayers will be increased to Granville and the world. Yes, sir. Last year was so bad. Lord Silif. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Lean. The task which now lies before you is the most painful of all. No, sir. I'm all that's left of House Veltomer. It's my duty to atone. Uh, it's my duty alone to atone for the many crimes of my kin. I know that's what my father, Lord Azel, would want as well. Lean, I can't bring myself to hate Lord Arvis any longer. Knowing now he was but a sad victim of fate, I can only offer you my condolences. Thank you so much, Lord Selif. The Fire Emblem, House Voltomer's royal crest, was once revered by the people of the world over as a symbol of justice. I'll work tirelessly until the emblem's honor and good name are restored. Man, I didn't get Corby because I killed Hannibal. But honestly, Lean was pretty helpful as a dancer. Well, sire, I'm leaving for Chelfie now. What? Why, Oifi? Why? I thought you would never leave my side. I, I still need you. No, sire. You will do a spe magnificent job ruling on your own. I know it. And whilst you do, it will be my duty to protect House Chalfie in your stead. Chalfie, I understand, Oifi. You're right, of course. I won't be able to inherit its throne, which leaves you as the last bearer of the blood of Balder. Who can claim it? I suppose there isn't much choice. Everything will be alright, sire. I'll always be watching over you. Even from Chalfie. Wifey. To me, you've always been like the father I never had. You taught me all I know. How to strategize, how to live as a knight does, and how to be kind. You've done so much. I could never thank you even nearly enough. Sire, I too owe your father dearly for all he once did for me. When my parents died, Lord Sigurd took me into his home. He loved me just as if he would his own brother. And yet, I couldn't even be by his side in his final moments. I was such a coward. Oifi, please, don't cry. This is my fault, not yours. My apologies, sire. You shouldn't have seen that. Now then, please, sire. I know, Ify. I know. Take care as well. If it wasn't for Oifi, I don't think I would have gotten past the first chapter at all. He was such a benefit to that chapter. Well, Lord Selif, thanks for everything. I'm going back to Selyse with my father now. I must admit, said, I'm almost envious you have a father like Lewin. By your side, how nice that must be. It is. I'm so proud to be his son, sire. And someday, hopefully, I'll be as every bit of the great man he is now. So least is yours to rule now, said. I'm not going back. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, father? The war's over! Please. Please, you've got to come home. No, my work here is done. I don't belong on the throne. Selyse needs a fresh start with its leadership. Just like everywhere else. 
What Selyse needs is you. It needs to be guided by your youthful hand. I don't understand. Selyse needs you too. And I need you. Please, father. Please. Come home with me. Settle down, said. You're embarrassing me here. You already know exactly why I'm doing this. Don't you, said. Father. That's enough. There's nothing left to say. Go! I leave Selyse's fate to you. Sed was an absolute unit. Actually, I think Sed was the most useful. Like, Fee was awesome and everything, but... Oh my gosh, Sed. He basically killed about every boss. Thank you, Luan. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. I did only my duelist self. I'm the wind, guided by the light. And this fairy light shines on within your hearts. Every well, <laughs> I can't read this. I lost my place so many times. I understand now. All my life, I heard tales of dragon kin fearing becoming. <laughs> but you were different. You guide us where your kin never would. So as long as our world lives on, humanity will never forget your kindness. Loon, no, a hero of a distant land, Forseti of the Wind. At long last, Thracia has been unified. A region once swamped with countless small nations constantly warring amongst themselves. The restoration of House Leonster, the downfall of the Thracian Kingdom. The Thracian Peninsula finally knows peace. As the first ruler of this new Thracia, people adamantly desired for the throne to be taken by Leif. The Thracian Peninsula thus gave rise to a new realm, the Kingdom of New Thracia. The kingdom of Isaac may have found its freedom and the imperial abuse the quickest. Yes, people could not rest easy while his heir was absent fighting in the war. This changed with the final victory of the Liberation Army. Man, this text is annoying. When Shannon returned from battle, the people greeted their liege with riotous cheers. I don't know what that word is. And so was Shannon assuming the crown. Rod, the dutiful swordsman. Patty, Rod's wife. And others by his side to restore the land. They also strove for a new age of diplomacy and trade, seeking to build a wealthy nation. Isaac was once reviled by others as little more than a barbarous eastern land, but under the reign of Shannon, Isaac will grow like never before, and shall one day be reborn as a mighty nation, every bit equal as other realms. The aftermath of the Gustrius Civil War left it to be annexed by Granville, so the land fell into harsh tyranny. After years of abuse, its people dearly wished for the rise of a unified nation. Once led by House Nordian, it is a legendary House Eldigan, and so the people eagerly welcomed the homecoming of Ares. In Ares, the people saw the very same aura Eldigan himself had borne in his youth. Ares was accompanied home by Tristan, the charming knight. Lana, Tristan's wife, and worked with them to unite Augustria. At the reign of Ares, Augustria will soon become Greenville's most crucial partner, and will grow to be greater than ever before. Man, I feel bad that I start praying to from Lean. Even as peak, the Empire is trying to ignore Berdane, and I interested in seizing the region from within his iron fist, completely abandoned the Old Kingdom. Said Verdane was left to the mercy of constantly warring clans and brigands, ran rampant. Nobody had ever hoped for peace. Uh, with the war's end, Selif led an expedition to restore peace to Verdane. The people were overjoyed to at last be saved by Selif, the son of Deirdre. Deirdre had long since passed into the legends of of Verdane, now revered there as a saint. And now Verdane's people clamored to come under the rule of Deirdre's son. Zelef, too, held a deep love for the land of his mother's youth. And so Verdane joined Granville's lands, becoming the royal province of Verdane. Verdane is the land of natural beauty. Its verdant forests are sacred to prayers. Its sparkling crystal clear water is Deirdre's tears. And these are its people's emblems of hope and faith. 
Rip Janka. Lol. Silly's had long dwelt under the Empire's cruel hand, and so said devoid had hit their life. To rebuilding the ruined land. Breathtaking land. Peaceful people. Lin devoted his life to protecting the kingdom of Selyse, and at long last, his decades of work came to fruition. And Granville itself, Ultima's new lord, Lin. It's so weird to see Lin there. Reads new lord, Arthur, and his wife, Fee. Ida's new lord, Lesser. Dill's new lord, Go Alvier. His wife, Radney. Jingbei's new lord, Favel. Jalpi's new lord, Oifi. And others all return to their lands. In the royal capital, Bahala itself, with the overwhelming support from the public, Silaf was officially hailed as their king. Newly anointed King Silaf devoted himself to rebuilding their land and bringing peace to all. With gold, nothing short of a prosperous world free of oppression and bigotry. And by his side, one would always find his loving, ever smiling wife, Queen Tinny. His sister, Princess Julia, regarding his toil in the warmest of hearts of advice. In ages to come, the people of Jugdral tell legends of a divine king of ages past. None shall ever forget his name, Seleph. feels so rewarding to see that screen. You guys have no idea how it feels to see that screen. It's been so long. So long. Prologue. <laughs> this turn counts. Oh man. Oh man. This is lovely. Chapter 3 was difficult because the ult again really won that because of RNG. A lot of these chapters were pretty difficult. Some were pretty easy. Chapter 7 was probably the hardest chapter in this whole thing. It was just that tricky. Oh my gosh. Endgame was pretty difficult too. Not gonna lie. There were moments where I thought this might be the end. Oh, there's the end. 4,602 turns. It's a long while. Oh man. I'm gonna see a decent amount of losses on here. Oh, Arden, you were such a Chad. Arden was so awesome with this. I found a new favorite unit in Arden. I never thought he's Arden, to be honest, but he's so good. Man, Azel is so awesome. I love Azel so much. He's easily like my favorite Fire Emblem unit. He did so well in Gen 1, he was easily the MVP of Gen 1. Him and Arden. Man. Oh man, it just feels so nostalgic just seeing the screen. All the units. Oh man. And thanks to the Valkyrie stuff, I actually got a decent amount of people back. Man, Self was never an MVP, but honestly, he's so good. His leadership stars saved the run a lot. Man, a lot of these people were just so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Finn. I'm so sorry. Man. Finn was honestly pretty good. I just feel so bad I couldn't get him. This gene I never used before and I never really got a chance to use because of this. Goodbye, Gene. Said, like I said earlier, just, he was so good. Before said he is just awesome. Arthur was honestly pretty good too. He was the son of Arden. <laughs> so I just used Vantage Rats. Rats is hilarious. He did fall off a bit near the end. Fee was easily... <laughs> I think Fee got the most kills, 106. That's awesome. 
Oh man. <laughs> e E C E D Total rank D. Not too bad. Man, this was a journey and a half. I Whenever I first started this run, I thought the, the idea came to me because while well, I was like in work, because I was like going to start a YouTube channel. I just didn't know what I'd do for a run. Then this popped into my head at one movement run. I was like, it sounds insane. But the more I thought about it with FE4, the more possible it seemed. And I decided I was going to test it out. In fact, in the first video in the description, the first video is really bad. Please don't go watch it. But in the description, I put, I don't know if this run is possible. And I even had a little anti rule, rule three, I believe it was, to where. If there was a part that it wasn't possible, I could go ahead and go through and use normal movement to clear that part and then go back to one movement. But I actually did this whole run with one movement and I never had to use that rule. There were times where I came close, but FE4 is possible. It is possible to clear this game with one movement. <laughs> I just find that insane. And this was also the first one movement run ever done. I might one day do one movement run, no promises of another game. I don't think they're possible, but either way, I'll put Rule 3 into those as well. And despite everything, I honestly had fun with this run. You guys would probably think I wouldn't, but it honestly was a lot of fun. And uh, there's just so, I found so many more units in this, like I never used before, that I just had a lot more fun with. Like I said earlier, Arden it was so fun. And man, this was just a journey and a half. Because I started this channel, I met a lot of new people, and it was just awesome. And real quick, I want to give one special thanks, real quick, to Blake Blast on YouTube. Uh, Blake, honestly, was uh, the first person to comment on my runs. And I met him through a Discord server. And I met a lot of other people too, but uh, Blake helped me out with a lot of the run. And he basically made the run possible in Chapter 7 because he told me about inheriting the return ban on Patty. And Patty's, like, gold helped save the run a lot because of silent staffs and whatnot made it less RNG. So thank you so much, Blake. I really do mean it. And anyways, I guess this will be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I would say see you guys next time, but there won't be a next part. But if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe and see future Let's Plays I'll be doing, or just future videos, go ahead and do that. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out.